Hi, welcome to Joy Fido International. Today we are going to be bringing you something really exciting as we always do. And what does Joy Fido International stand for? It's all about inspiring you to success. Now we know we do talk to some people out there because of the responses we receive. Um, we love to support people, we love to encourage people, we love to be there for people. And we get responses back, you know, telling us, giving them a message that they were not thinking about. And something has made them think, you know, inspired something in them. And, and that really gives us so much energy and excitement to come back with more. Um, because Funny enough, the more you share, the more you receive. And most times when I come here to share messages with you, it's not just for you, it's for me as well. But the message does come to me, so when it does, I need to share it. And like I said, when I share it, I receive as well. And so we are receiving the same messages at the same time. So today I'm bringing really something that's really touching, something that's deep in my core, deep in who I am. My name is Joy Fido and we'll be having a very, very, I don't know if I should call it serious or beautiful or wonderful chat today. So welcome on board. Okay, so Joy Fido International is about inspiring you to success. But out of Joy Fido International, I did come up with something that I really love to deal with and I love to call it Jopido Africa. Africa because that's where I come from and there's so much going on in Africa that I'm really really touched. I'm touched about it and I feel it will only be, it will be a travesty if with all the things I know about life and I see so much going on and then I pretend like it's not happening or I carry on with a regular life thinking I'm achieving something. So Geofilo Africa here is really to uplift the mindset of us Africans. Uplifting the mindset of Africans because it is that time in life when you either be part of what's going on or you be against it. There's really no standing in, how do they say, on the fence, where you're neither here nor there. And for somebody like me, who is very vocal, uh, because I believe God gave me a voice for a reason to use it, so when I see something that isn't right, I, I have no other choice but to speak about it. So Geofido Africa is definitely here to stay because there's a lot going on in my continent, Africa, that really should not be going on. And today I'm coming to you from a city called Port Harcourt, and that's actually the very, very place where I'm from, Port Harcourt in Nigeria. And I'm going to be in Nigeria for some time, but I'm starting here in Port Harcourt. And what's been interesting is so much information coming in and out, People who live here locally have so much to talk about going on. But as an African, what can I possibly do about it? And that's what today's chat is going to be about. It's about how we can create a greater Africa. And I call it for the greater good of Africa. That's what the title of today's chat is about, for the greater good of Africa. So you know, you know this saying, uh, Rome wasn't built in a day, uh, a journey of a thousand miles starts with one step, um, and uh, something about if you want to predict the future, you start with a change. And that's, that's where this is about, if we want to create a greater Africa, we need to do something as Africans. And so much is happening right now in the world that that actually does give you a really clear message that something needs to be done um i was chatting with someone the other day and i did i did say to her yes as a child i grew up knowing africa as the 
giant in the sun. That's what it was called, the giant in the sun. But today, we're being called the dark continent. And, and why is that? How things have changed? Uh, right now, look at the world. In the UK, where I live, we have what they call the Brexit. Uh, Brexit vote, UK wanting to go it alone. UK wanting to be out of the European Union and want to face the world themselves. And in the US, we now have this vote for Donald Trump which was a huge shock to everyone, but it's happened. And there's a big sweep going around the world now called nationalism. People are all trying to look inwards and see what they can create from what they have. And then my question then to us Africans is then what is going on with us? What are we looking at? We're looking at 54 countries that make up what we call Africa with a billion people and more. And yet we are being seen as the, the dark continent. What is wrong with our way of thinking? That's what I want to find out. Why, what are we doing that's causing that? Because everyone is moving forward in the world. I mean, continents across this world are moving forward. Great things are happening. I came from China recently. And something as amazing as the trolley you push your, your, your luggage on has a TV screen on it where People are actually watching a movie while just sitting down and waiting for their flight to be announced or the movement of the flight being, you know, you could actually just look on the screen and you see it on your push, on your trolley with your little, you know, cabin luggage in there and you're just sitting down there relaxing and there you are watching a movie while you're waiting for your plane. And, and these are the kind of technology and development that's going on in the world and really touching. Inside the plane that I traveled with, the temperature was auto controlled. There was no window. You know when you get into the, the window, window seat in the plane and you have to flip the, the window open or, or shut it. This wasn't the case. It was auto controlled. I actually took a picture of it because it was so amazing. The minute the sun came, the window knew what to do. And when, you know, these are the things going on in the world. And we are still here in Africa, all looking for the next plane to take us away from our continent. Away from all the amazing resources that God had put in our control. And, and times like this, I really need to remind us who we are. So right now, um, Africa is going through a very, very challenging time. And where is our challenge coming from? It's coming from us, human beings. Human beings in the sense of God created persons who all have, like they say, anything that has a beginning has an end. We all have a time slot allo allocated to us by our Creator. And I say that because none of us are going to be here on this earth forever. Look around you, look into history, all the great names you know and you knew or you read about or you actually met in person. They, nobody stays here forever. And I feel our biggest mission as human beings is to contribute to the well-being of other human beings on this earth, being our community, contribute to our community, support you to grow, create a better world, and so we can all inherit this egg and make something good of it so that when our time is done, we would have done our bit for the world. And, and, and then you find us in Africa, I mean, I'm going to go further into the kind of different things I come across, but the biggest one is we really do want to be our brother's keepers. And that's why I say for the greater good of Africa, where, where, what is going on in our minds that when you hear stories about people taking away billions of, not just Naira. Naira, when you look at Naira, the exchange rate, for instance, you're thinking, oh yeah, um, what does, if for pound, 500, something, Naira becomes a pound sterling. So when you're looking at the equivalent in Naira, is a lot of money. But when you look at the hard currency, it is still not too much money. But when these people are taking money away from the system, they are taking billions of dollars and billions of pounds telling. And so when you try to convert that into Naira, you don't, you don't even know how to count that anymore. 
and so they don't take it and say okay let's invest in the system and so let's build houses let's create roads the usual thing you call infrastructure let's create community centers let's create jobs let's look at agriculture and see what we can make of our own natural god-given stuff you're looking at things like coconut you're looking at palm oil you're looking at various types of herbs and in multitudes because if you live in the west where i do when you walk into the shop you look at how they have packaged everything you look at and you know that and then you ask yourself but i come from a place where these things are planted sometimes like grass on the streets or the roadside and look at how it's so beautifully packaged and i'm buying it for x amount could not could i not do the same thing where i come from and so all we need is basic infrastructure to get us started and so you live in a system where 24 hours of the day there is no official electricity what do you get people buy their generators and generate their own electricity to, to just basically be able to see but someone has cut away billions of dollars to a different country or continent where these people are using that money to create jobs in their system how, how do you explain that for a world that you do not own that you're not going to live here forever things like this really do get to me